Are you sick of dieting? Oh my God, I hate dieting. I hate people who diet. Let me tell you, when you're dieting, you are so painful. Now, I know that you think you have to diet. I've been running a health and wellness business for 11 years. All we do is help people to become the shape that they love. And I am here to tell you today, don't diet. Just don't diet. Your job is to watch this video so I can help you create a lifestyle. Not a hack, not a diet, not a fad, a lifestyle. And when you live in that lifestyle where you feel absolutely in control because you have it all sorted, you're not going to need to diet. That is the goal of our life, building a lifestyle that works for us. So my name is Dr. Sidiro. I give you credible, useful, experienced tips in order to live a life in the shape that you love and the health that you need. So please subscribe so that you can actually see whenever we post new videos, okay? So now, when you sit in front of somebody who say, oh, I tried this new diet and I'm intermittent fasting or I'm flying to the moon or I'm eating only apples all day or, you know, I am just going to, uh, I'm gonna have 10 eggs a day. Don't go near them for a while. You just think, well, that must be the answer. But it's not the answer. Actually, what the answer is, is to develop really, really healthy, regular, daily habits that you can stick to every day, every week, every month, and every year. Now, I'm going to give you three basic habits that will make your life much, much healthier, and it will make you feel so good about what you do. And what I want you to do is to promise just one thing. Try this for four weeks. Because if you can try this for four weeks, you are going to be absolutely amazed at the difference it makes. I have lived like this for about 11, 12 years, and every single one of my tens of thousands of clients, when they leave us healthy, this is how they continue and live their lives and make their whole bodies work for them, okay? Here is step one. Do activity you actually enjoy. Please, for the love of God, do not waste any time doing something that you hate because it will do you good. Isn't that just the most horrendous phrase? Exercise, doing what you love and what you can maintain, is exercise you are going to do forever. I could write down for every exercise, every step, every rep, every interval, every rest period, and how long you were going to do it. And it would get you results. But realistically, if you hate doing it every bloody day, you're just not going to do it long enough to get any results. And also, there's something about your body where when you hate what you're doing, your body just refuses to react to it. And you become one of those people saying, but I exercise all the time and it makes no difference. Do me a favor. Do you a favor. Don't do it. What do you love to do? Do you love to skip? Because you're weird. Do you love to run? Ooh, I hate it. I do CrossFit, and I do gymnastics and calisthenics, and I do handstands. I love them. I never feel like I'm working when I'm doing that. I just feel like I'm having the best time because like, I'm really crap at some of it and I'm good at some of it, but I want to learn to get better at it. But I, at the end of that, have worked every bit of my body. What is it you love to do? Okay, number two, make your food taste good. I am tired of people that eat a, like a rivita with a cucumber on it and then that's supposed to be your healthy food and it's your diet. You're like, oh my god, you didn't stick to your diet? You utterly shocked me. How long are you going to eat cardboard with, 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 with a cucumber on it? You're just not going to do it because it sucks. So this is your number one goal. Make your healthy food taste good. And anyone that tells you that healthy food can't taste good is A, lying to you, and B, is super unhealthy. I'm vegan, and my vegan food is delicious, it's varied, and it's different. And the days where I think, oh my god, I can't be bothered to do this, I just order out or I go out and, and eat somewhere else to get inspiration. Because I demand that my food tastes good, otherwise I'm not going to eat it. Eating the food that tastes good makes you feel amazing about what you eat. And that is your goal. Every time food goes in your mouth, you should be thinking, oh my God, this is wonderful. And loving it. 
then you will always eat that way. So, the takeaway is healthy food tastes good. Number three, don't deprive yourself of anything. Please, please give up giving up. I am saying go out there and eat desserts. Desserts. I am saying eat the stuff that you want. I have chocolate in my house. I have sweets in my house. Now what I do is when I want one of anything, I have one of whatever it is. So at the end of the meal, if I want a chocolate, I will have a piece of chocolate. It will be this big, it will be a good chocolate, but I will like it because I hate 700% dark chocolate. It tastes horrible. I'm not eating it, but I do like milk chocolate. So I eat the milk chocolate, but I eat one of them. I never feel like I'm depriving myself. I don't feel like my life sucks because I can't eat this and I can't eat that. And oh my God, I don't feel like that because I get to eat what I want and I just use the 80-20 rule. 80% of the time I eat fantastically healthy food. You better believe that 20% of the time I eat stuff I love that makes me super, super happy and makes people look at me and go, why are you eating that? You're a health guru. Should you be eating that? Yes, I should be eating that because I have been healthy all of that time. So if I want this, I can do it. So do you see what I'm saying? Set your life up to work for you, not for some other moron. You, you are the most important part of your life. So work out the way you like actually move doesn't matter what you want to do just move every single day eat food that tastes and looks good and give yourself a little something something of that yummy stuff that you know you want this is the rules of staying healthy and happy and now when someone says how can you eat that you can say to them that chick who's been doing this for 11 years and has had tens of thousands of clients including the most famous people in the world says I can, so I'm gonna. I hope you like the video. Please share it with someone who says you can't eat chocolate. <laughs> and please subscribe to know when we're next gonna put out a video.